So ex-NBA player who's now 53 years old goes by the name of Sean Kemp. They say he's a Sonics legend. Used to call him the Rain Man. Well, now I guess everybody knows why they call him the Rain Man because Sean Kemp tried to catch the Ops lack and allegedly got into an altercation outside of a place and he ended up sending shots. And speaking of catching the Ops lacking, Floyd Mayweather walked down Jake Paul. Now, you know Jake Paul's been saying some disrespectful stuff, taking hats. Hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna get it right at this news right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm gonna give a shout out to Notification Game Key Talk Game for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways, so NBA player Sean Kipp was trying to catch the ops lacking. He might be 53 years old, but that don't mean he gonna let nobody disrespect him at all. And it's never, ever, ever too late to start sliding. Now, there is a video of him actually sliding on an ops. You know, somebody actually did it on video, probably didn't know nobody was recording. But of course, this is 2023 and somebody's always recording. Now, I can't put that, you know, the drive-by shoot on YouTube. You know, they'll take it down. But I will <clears throat> have it on my Instagram at Key Talk Media. Literally the same thing as my YouTube Key Talk Media. I'll post it on there. Anyways, as far as the reporter report, Court says at 1.58 p.m. an altercation between the occupants of two cars, so two cars, Kemp car and the other car, um, led to shots being fired. Obviously, Sean Kemp fired the shots at a parking lot in the 4500 block of St. Steel Street. One car fled. No injuries were reported. Okay, so he ain't turned nobody to a pack. Nobody got hit up. A gun was recovered. Obviously, the gun that Sean Kemp had. What'd he do? He must have dished the gun. You know what I'm talking about? Try to take off. A 53-year-old male was booked for drive-by shooting. Then investigating it ongoing so if some more details come out about that i will definitely keep y'all updated and next on the gore young know, someone we got floyd mayweather walk down jake paul so of course you know jake paul been doing sending a whole lot of disrespectful stuff to floyd i mean just trolling floyd 24 7 any chance he get it and then there was that time where he actually took floyd's hat well it looks like Floyd Mayweather and his security and his gang gang pretty much ran into Jake Paul. So when they ran into Jake Paul, you can hear him in the background saying, what's up with it, Jake? You know, what's up with it? What's up with all that talk he was doing? You know what I'm talking about? And then, of course, Jake Paul's security. I think he has like maybe like one or two security uh, against all of Floyd's. Like, uh, this is a lot of them, right? So. Uh, Jake Paul security goes up to Floyd and them and pretty much opens his arms out, try to stop them. And all of a sudden, Jake Paul, you know, somebody say you got something called fight or flight. And Buddy definitely chose the flight because he took off running. Here's the video. What's going on? What's up, Floyd? I can have what I want. What's your name? What's the camera? Oh, you got camera too. So what you supposed, who you supposed to be? I'm, I'm just working, man. What happened? You're not tough anymore since your loss? What happened since your loss? Yo, we gonna bust him up, guys? I told you before, put that Yo, let's bust him up. Where you running, Jake? Where you going since your fight? Since you lost? What's up, Jake? Where you going, Jake? Oh, he's running! He's running! Look at him! Jake Paul running, champ! Why is he running? I think because the last time. It's all right. Now you know. So Jake Paul did definitely return back and he was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, he came out and made his own video. I was like, man, listen, of course I ran. It ain't no way in blue hell I was about to fight 20 people. Like, what What do y'all expect? Y'all really expect me to stay there and handle up on 20 people? I got to safety. I may be tough, but I ain't dumb. I'm leaving the Miami Heat game and Floyd Mayweather and 50 dudes pull up out of nowhere out of like some side alley waiting for me outside of the stadium and they're like so what's up so what's all that talk now i'm like first of all what did i say to you floyd i just took your hat and you're still mad about it come on bro and then 50 dudes literally start surrounding me to try and jump me i'm out that it's okay floyd you want to run it one-on-one -on -one? no problem but i'm not dumb okay I i'm tough i don't need to prove my toughness but I'm not dumb. I'm not going to sit there and try to fight 50 dudes. 
dipped out of that Floyd, you're up. Bro, you're mad because I took your hat. Are you serious? Get over it, bro. Move on. Move on. Anyways, so should Jake Paul have pretty much ran? You know, talking about all she did is just stayed there and stood his ground against all those people with his security guards. So his team versus Floyd team uh, was a smart thing to do. Just hey man, get out of there and run the safety. And then also, how y'all feel about Sean Kemp sliding on the ops? Let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal.